it turns out we've been you guys have been here a year. Wow. Almost yeah. a year, right? Uh, uh, ten months. Wow. Yeah, exactly. We're coming up on ten months. So or a year because I signed the loan um July. And so I had you on board before I had the loan going. So we're about a year. Can you believe that? Yeah. One sure. year. Yeah. All right. So things didn't go as fast as I thought, but here we are. Yeah, I know. But things are starting to open up really nice. Okay, so when we start talking about uh, shown enterprises, shown customer, shown commercial, so. It's got all kinds of nails in it. And so for us to reclaim that, it's got a guy on the clock. You know, 20 bucks an hour hammering nails. So a lot of times this stuff just gets trashed. So you find a lumber, you know, find a building site. Hey, could I get rid of that for you? Sure, for free. Because each one of these is worth about eight bucks. So this pile of lumber right here is probably worth $300 at the lumber yard. I'm gonna see if we can save this pile for you, for your house. So I built mine, we did a lot of this getting lumber for salvage with nails in it and just start uh, taking the nails out get buckets of nails but you got free lumber
have a phone. I'll grab you by the feet if you fall. Right, I got it. You keep shaking for it. Shut your mouth, Shannon. <laughs> oh. What do you mean, why am I shaking? I'm like, <laughs> I know. how high? I know, I'm just poking you. Alright, you got my ladder, Shannon? Come on over here. You're in. Right here? Yes, sir. Get ready to grab it. Watch your leg. Oh. Holy shit. Yeah, a lot heavier than I thought. What? Here, I just ain't got no gloves to grab it. I wonder how hot my end of it is. We got this. We got this. Is it too hot for you? Give me. Yeah. Yeah. He loved the panty. I would have fallen on the weekend. Oh, come on, man. Well, you know, gotta be comfortable, dude. Yeah, I think so. I'm about to measure it right now. That sucks. Hey, does it smell like hay down there? The, the only difference in, in doing this in concrete block, I would think, I mean, and I'm not even sure, I don't know much about it, but I'm, I'm thinking that it, would, it wouldn't be as stable because it would just be a bunch of pieces where this is all tied in with steel. But other than that, yeah, it's the same thing. The concrete that doesn't have any aggregate in it or sand, it just it's basically just like a, the, the creamy stuff that comes off of it. But yeah, it's just patch. You just patch it up, it fills all the holes, it makes it look pretty. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Yeah. 
So smart. Oh, so smart. Okay, slide it, leave it on the wall, slide it back. Porch tip off. You want the top of the rebar roughly there? Uh, underneath the uh, back line. Underneath it? Okay, close to it. Yeah. Got that cut close to that side over here. You want me to cut each one? <coughs> individual? Huh? I'm going to cut each one individually. Or are we going to cut well, them in Those dolls? I think I got those dolls today folks we're going to be picking things up and putting them down and then going over there and picking things up and putting them down then we're going to do it again <laughs> uh -huh. okay let's uh let's stack these up here it's kind of a yeah this one up here get it as tall as you can and then we'll start another stack this is where the septic is huh this is where the septic is going to be I think he must gonna be having to do that. He dug that big old hole and then covered it. Well, they dug it with that big excavator to break it up. Oh. So that when we come back later with a little backhoe it'll be broken. Oh, it? See we dug with the rocks and all that shit. Oh, yeah.
gotta move this thing over. Yeah, I gotta move it out of the way. Do you wanna keep this? No, nah, I'm gonna No, pues es que en realidad nos vamos a llevar a medio y medio. Parejo. Déjalo que. Que corre un poquito. Ok. Mira, esta línea En vez de que nos mande gente que nos ayude, no anda a chingar gente que está cagando el palo nomás. Ok. Arriesgando la vida.
Sí, que voy a ir cerrando la verga. ¿Cómo está? ¿Cómo está? Que lo deje, que lo deje. 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 Que Ok, aguántate ahí, güey. Te vas a meter unos clavos, güey. Arriba. Escúchame, te he ido la pistola. Pásame la pistola, Mike. En this play, I put an inch and a half more up. Oh, do you remember? Yeah. Well, where's the inch and a half? Oh. And this, uh, I told you, remember, you remember that I said the. Uh, you bro, I don't remember what's the name. And the inch and a half low, he said no. That's okay. Okay. Well. Um, that's what I, yeah. I'll put I was, one. I, I yeah, it, I yeah, later. yeah, we could do that. Um, okay. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's what we're going to have to do. Um, uh, okay. For the window, for the door. Yeah. It flush, but, uh, flush the window, it flush the, the porch. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Maybe you cut the uh, one piece in the, in the top. Okay. I put under or, or only put a, uh, 11. What? No, ten, ten and a half, right? Yeah. That's not bad. Yeah. Well, okay, thank you. Sixteen foot six, but this is uh, exactly sixteen feet. So we need to make no, up six inches la, somewhere, la or we have to rebuild this beam. Either we're going to have to bring the two metal beams in, or we're going to have to rebuild this one. Um, I'm not sure yet what we're going to do. I'm going to have to call Doug and ask him. We need to make up about six inches somewhere. How many, how many percent eh, for me for the, for the, for the TikTok? What's what? Pirate? What the fuck? SpongeBob? What are you talking about? It's my fishing gear, man. 
Christian, that's why I hurt. You like that? I just got it today. Huh? Sam's? Uh, Ace. gonna have a static water around it.
Good. Everything, Everything well. is good. Everything is bueno. Finally. 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 <laughs> Going up today. Oh, yeah. is probably one of the more rewarding works because as you see on the cementing, we labored and labored and labored and then covered everything up, right? <laughs> Here, their labor is seen. Now, eventually, it'll be covered up with the skin you know, the interior wall and the outside rock or whatever, but uh, but for what they're, while they're working, it's cool, it's, you see your work, immediate results.
in between because it was yep. high yep. you caught oh. it down now it's ah. gone back up and it's skyrocketing again because mm -hmm. we're the built what's up mike i i it's kind of weird it's not going to be used that much because so many bedrooms but the railing that goes across there the view down is really going to be incredible it's going to be stunning yeah <laughs> look at you <laughs> you got a little sophistication about That's your right, an man. air of sophistication about yourself i'm right learning now. i don't think we could trim enough material i think i mean obviously let's get the the pool in and the and the waterfall going and then you can kind of get the visualization of what is going on it may look cool to have the water some greenery than water yeah but i mean obviously it'd be ideal if you're at the right angle coming down here you're yeah. going to see nothing but water water to water but, but yeah you can't unless you're completely vegetationless dockless you're not i mean you can't get the quiet angle on it yeah, when you're on the lower level, you won't be able to see that tree, I don't think, right? Yeah, location of the pool from the water, it's it's about 150 feet off the water line. And you've got about 60 feet, drop. well, from right here at the top of the hill, 70. it was 75 feet. So right where our feet are, 75 feet of angle. So the angle, when you shot the, you know, did the geometry on it, you can see different angles. And that's the whole way this thing is supposed to look. So you got the railing in here, but look how tall this, this is how tall this thing is right yeah, here. Yeah, that's nice. that that's gonna be yeah you know what's you know what's interesting is when you look across i look two different heights because oh, that sticks yeah. out six feet and that doesn't but they're the actual the same height across oh, so when you run the beams across this thing so we're gonna have this rock arc you know rock columns coming up there and probably one off the fireplace and then over here we've got the rock columns that are already in so we're gonna be able to do the wood the interior wood beams like you were talking about earlier this morning about the uh the depressed you know wood that comes on in well, we'll be able to grab some of our leftover manufactured uh, glue lambs. And I think we're going to be able to utilize those with the same color scheme that we have exposed there. Yeah, that'd be nice. We should be able to see a lot going on. And then have some like metal brackets and you were talking mm -hmm. about doing the other supports. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so like right there on, on the Oh Jesus bracket, that's now the Oh Ghetto bracket. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, we can uh, add a little a tab for the wood to sit on because the rock column will come up all around it. Yeah. And. Uh, yeah, but I mean, some of the best views in the house is going to be standing up there. But, but it was kind of hard to get everybody to visualize, and so it's going to be a rock column that rolls into the rock arch that, that covers all that, right? So this, like, there you a little grotto-looking shelf right there with a rock, small rock arch, big rock arch, back rock arch. But when you're looking at all that, down here, this entire thing right here is a rock arch, as is that. So when you're down there from the pool looking back, the view's oh, gonna yeah. be just as cool because you got rock arch up to rock arch oh, yeah. and up to another spread with a beam. So not no no matter where you are in this house, the visual feng shui and the feel will be from rock arch to infinity edge to water to three levels of view. Uh, plus, now when you're standing here, this is like the, the half you know living area. Uh, so you got the kitchen, living area, but as you're sitting here, then there's giant window there, window there, and window here. I mean, you're just looking out. This is absolute entertaining, the entire house. So it's really, really cool. So I, I stood practically right there in that corner where the, you know, where the top of the little mound was, and this thing was all just, you know, rough material. And so, you know, just kind of rugged land that, you know, diamond in the rough, if you will. I kind of stood there and go, you know, this would be perfect to have walk in on the first floor and drop down. And then I looked at the how narrow the lot was, and then started looking at the the views and the potential. And then kind of, tran you know, transporting myself from there over to over here. And so now when you stand on the porch, you're like, this is giant treehouse view feel, yeah. and you're just kind of out there all by yourself, and there's un unimpeded views from all over the place. And so then I started thinking about it. I was like, well, originally, like I said, we didn't have this top floor. But you started looking at it going, well, we could put more bedrooms back over here. I was like, but then they don't have a view. And so let's put like a game room, workout room, you know, um, stuff over here that you don't need the views. Let's go ahead and add the next floor to it because you're not adding that much more cost because you've already got your money sunk into the foundation, the retaining walls, and the lot. Yeah. The extra 2,000 square feet you're putting on this house is just pure, you know, almost re you know, return if you ever sell this place. So... Um, yeah, the, the return is, is huge on 2,000 square feet, you know, extra property. Then you got two 
masters in the front that they all have walk-in closets yeah full yeah, bathrooms you got three masters yeah yeah Protect, yeah you got one master there one up there one over the corner and then you even got a master in the uh, guest house your main living areas have got the master your office your two office suites for your professionals have got uh views while you're doing it but it's separate so yeah you gotta think about that now you both uh husband and wife or your partner <laughs> right you gotta uh they all professionals yeah, and so case. yeah in justin's case your partner and partner. uh <laughs> your domestic living partner <laughs> you got this building this being this one under under the wall right i don't know i'll go there uh on top on the top well, uh, the problem is the uh, overhang. Yeah, overhang. Yeah, but uh, this is my problem. Oh, why? Come here. Let me show you an arm. Okay. Yep. No, no, it's working. You put it uh, being in the top? See, inside. Why? Why inside? Uh, in the top? In the top? In the top plate? Uh -huh. So on top, uh, it's 25 feet. 15 and then 10. Yeah, which right. Is right there. Wow. And then metal. The, the, metal down. The problem is uh, the face. Uh -huh. it, it, it should I'm be. How weighing is the. 8 inch. 8 inch? Like, uh, like small uh, ones, the small uh, one. You need, yeah, you need to do it uh, the same. The same for the. But this is uh, 12 feet. Right, 12 feet. Because it's 10 and it kind of hangs out, I think. Uh, here, structural. Yeah. Yeah, so you can see here, they hang out to there. So that's 10 feet. From here to here is 10. Diaz. And Diaz. And then uh, Quattro. Quattro. And then uh, big, big overhang. Uh, two foot 10. So ten. it comes down at an angle. And it kind of okay, it. I need okay, I need to put the 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 joist out. Let's see, I'll put the bend. Mm -hmm. I think yeah. So you have the big beam that comes over, and then this right here is a uh, two by twelve. Let's see here. Yeah, the, the roller. Yeah. Uh, uh, two by twelve. And the top. Two uh, in front of the steel beam. Yeah, because it was supposed to be a uh, LVL. LVL. Uh, 11 inch LVL, but uh, no, no, no good. Can't can't buy them. So uh, I was gonna get the steel. It was gonna come out 15 and then 10. So it was gonna be 25 feet. The problem is the overhead. My problem yep. because you put the you put the bin. You put the bin. Um, Um, you put the beam in the top, and I put the overhand. Yes, yeah, so the beam comes out like this, yeah. and then your uh, your uh, joist, joist and the front and the, and the front uh, the beam, middle beam. Uh -huh. Well, you don't need overhand, more, no more overhand. I think so. See, well, well, you. Uh, it, it comes down at an angle, and then you build it back. Nah. No. Yeah, you got this? Uh-huh, yeah. Yep, yep. So any questions? <laughs> no. <laughs> Here's your fire hose. <laughs> yeah.